Yeah, a lot of Harrods own brand uh, Easter eggs, which is good to see. Oh, a Grand Cru chocolate sourdough. And they do, they've got some Easter moments. Friday to you and yes I thought it was time to do eight another Harrods vlog. I get requested this all the time so I'm going to show you everything Easter, spring and maybe the Queen's Jubilee as well. And it is a gorgeous gorgeous day here in London. It's going to be 19 degrees. Spring really is here now and I am just on the famous Brompton Road. All the stores are just opening and it's time to shop and today I'm going to be picking up obviously some food, some lunch bits, some piggy bits. I'm gonna look at all the chocolate treats for Easter. Now, if you have watched my Christmas vlogs, you know I usually show the windows, but I'm actually gonna skip on the windows because they're just kind of like branded, um, like adverts and stuff. Nothing at too Eastery, but yeah, it opened a few minutes early. <laughs> Saying that, I will just show you a couple of the outside ones because they look really cool. They've got this um, kind of street set up with all of these different brands. So you've got a little Ralph moment and they've done it like it's an actual London street sign with a fancy front door as usual you can't usually see it because of the reflection because I always come here in the daylight but how cool is that but first I think we should go to the chocolate section don't you I've never really noticed it but look at the detail along the windows that looks absolutely stunning I'm just gonna go in the middle entrance I love the tiles on the floor here Harrods limited but Looking nice and quiet. You've got to go early to these places. Straight into handbag heaven. Oh yeah, also if on a Selfridges vlog a while ago there was a bag that I looked at from here. Um, which one was it? Very quickly. I think it was one of these. I don't think I'm going to get it though. I don't know. Maybe I need to go to Bista Village. I can almost hear everyone going, Hannah, just show us the food in Harrods. No one cares about the handbags. Well, I do. I do love a handbag. Yes, I'm so glad I came here. Uh, I'm going to say it's early. It's only 10 o'clock. But I think within the next half an hour it's going to get crazy. The perfume haul is absolutely stunning in a minute. It absolutely reeks at the same time. Um, you don't want to be in here for too long. That is a very, very lively part of the store. And I've also noticed I look very orange today. <laughs> Never mind. The early bird catches the worm. Okay, so we are in the famous chocolate uh, emporium. I'm not sure what they call it, the chocolate hall. And it is not too crazy. I'm sure people watching this, if you've visited here before, you'd be like, what the heck, Hannah? This is so quiet. But like I said, it's literally like three or four minutes past 10. Um, and yeah, it is Easter. I had it requested so many times that people wanted to see Easter, but apologies, apologies even, I wasn't able to upload this quite in time for Easter. I can't edit and upload quick enough. Um, but I'm gonna get some Easter bits. I have been doing Lent, so I haven't eaten chocolate or sweets for, what, like five, six weeks now? I've lost a bit of weight, but I definitely have just eaten twice the amount of bread, but I'm gonna get some chocolate. You are here for a little bit of a tour, so you have a lot of pre-packaged items, and yes, I probably will re-show some things. Um, I've no doubt, shown before in my vlogmas but you've got lovely Turkish delights I love good packaging you've got different chocolates and dates this is honestly the best place to get a gift noted it's probably not gonna be like the cheapest but you're gonna get some incredible unique things so look at these look at the packaging for these I'm also not gonna try and pronounce some of the stuff because um, you guys will just tell me I'm butchering the name but these are 25 pounds for 260 grams or oh, this is almond bonbon but yeah you have all of the finest chocolatiers in the world I'll try and show you the names of them and uh, yeah a lot to choose from and as a word of warning yes you probably want to pause the vlog at this point and go and get yourself a little snack moment oh we've got a nice little sale thing here so it was 30 pounds now 20 for the Harrods uh, Easter egg so we'll keep an eye out there's usually sale stuff here in Harrods um, especially with food because it does go off and a lot of it is very like seasonalized um, and then you've got the kind of standard Harrods chocolate section um, which is their kind of iconic packaging I was pointing out these because I love the little gold moment in the middle um, things like coffee fondants, orange fondants, and then you've got the nice little truffle boxes. Um, but yeah, there's just so much to choose from, guys. Um, it's amazing. I'm thinking maybe my one slice of toast and butter this morning wasn't sufficient, but maybe maybe I'll stop here for a bit of a brunch. Should we do that? And of course, we're in Harrods. So you're going to get some really fancy stuff. So this little box here, um, £350. That must be some some real good real good chocolate. <laughs> Oh my gosh, imagine someone buying this. Oh, it's on sale, guys, bargain. 50 pounds instead of 100 for 100 pieces of chocolate. I mean, I don't know. Part of me thinks that that's actually okay value. I don't know, but I also do love a nice 
cheap chocolate egg from like Tesco or somewhere. I am trying to speed vlog before the crowds come in, but we have got a whole section here for different dates. Oh, my dad would love this. I feel like I bought some of these last time. My gosh, I don't even remember. Um, and we had some fudge over the other side, some very fancy Turkish delight, which I've had comments before. It's not really available in um, all countries, but yeah, let me know, are you a fan? Um, and it's a bit of a pick and, pick and mix, which I've not noticed before, maybe this is new. Five pound per 100 gram. I mean, do you know what pick and mix is just expensive, isn't it? I mean, especially at the cinema. But next to this gorgeous sweeping staircase, um, you can see all the original tiles. So this is what it used to be back in the day, this style. And as we go through to the fresh food section, I'll show you how it has this like newer shop fit, which I always bang on about how amazing it is. And then Venti, there's quite a few of these around London now. I always um, praise them because I think the packaging is stunning. But look at that colorful wall of Easter eggs. And then you've got some in actual boxes. Oh wow, look at that with hazelnuts lined on the inside. I love seeing all the new designs and how things get a little bit crazy every year. Oh, that pistachio one looks good. But yeah, we have the pick and mix as well here. Another little pick and mix moment. So that is £7.80 per 100 grams. So yeah, the other one um, is a little bit, dare I use the word, cheaper. Um, but you can buy slabs and a lot to pick from. I always shout about these. The little books with chocolates in are everything. They're such a cute gift. So then you've got some of the like bigger names. They've got these huge counters with Oh my gosh, endless, endless chocolate. I can't believe I've gone so long without chocolate, guys. But yeah, you can kind of see um, how much there is, and I'm gonna get some chocolate so you can see what you get for your money. And then we love a slab, so you can get a little kind of mini slab stack. These are um, usually quite expensive, if I'm honest with you, how much are these? I just looked and that's 50 pounds, so that's obviously a really, really premium chocolate brand. Um, but I do find the actual Harrods own chocolates are relatively reasonable. Look at that little, they've made like an egg with different slab layers that's a really cool idea and then you've got little kind of sticks batons for 28 uh, £28.50 um, they look amazing by the way everything in this vlog is going to be amazing oh that looks so yummy so I'm not actually going to apologize but it is look at that how yummy oh it's limited edition we've got slabs for days um, I'm not going to get any slabs because I personally like little chocolates I would just sit and just munch a whole one of those watching like Benadorm. I'm literally rediscovering my love for the TV program Benadorm. I've been watching it all week. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's got cavities written over it. And then for Harrod's own chocolate, as mentioned, um, we'll get to that counter. You can see <laughs> literally chocolate coming out of that um, pipe and it's churning away. They're not making anything at the moment, but I'm sure if you come, they often have slabs of things out and they're decorating chocolates. Yeah, a lot of Harrods own brand uh, Easter eggs, which is good to see. I wasn't sure if there was going to be many. Oh, but look inside. It's got all the nuts inside of it. Wow, that is cool. I feel like I could just do an entire vlog just on this room. Um, so another one of the brands here. Look at that decoration. That's £49. It's a praline egg praline. How do you pronounce it? Who knows? Um, and this packaging, Bird Bunny, that looks adorable. Um, but you've got lots of easter shaped chocolate treats here and honestly i did not know this was a thing where the inside of the egg well there we go is um yeah filled with something oh wow look at these so you can get a whole little box ready to go that's amazing and then you've got some macarons as well i think this um brand here is one of the best. I've definitely had that recommended before in my comments. I am on the hunt to show you as much Easter things as possible, but look at these. You've got a dark chocolate, a milk chocolate, and a white chocolate. Um, they look really cute, and look at the little kind of sparkles yeah. on his ears. Yeah. Now, I think this used to be something else, but it looks like we've got a huge laudery. I'm definitely saying that wrong, I apologize. Um, who do the gorgeous macarons, which I probably have bought before in a vlog. Um, I've definitely munched a few of those on a trip. But we have got little set of three chocolate hens that you can buy for 25 pounds they've got a little easter egg as well i just love the color of the packaging it's absolutely gorgeous um but you can also buy like full cakes i know these aren't easter specific but i can't resist to show you look at that oh look at that i mean it'd be good if your name was like beginning with an l if you're a Laura or something that would be a nice little gift and they are about two yeah two pound thirty each but they are definitely a bit of an awesome treat. Look at that display, lovely. We have got a good diver section. Um, yeah, there is a lot more Easter in here than I thought. Look at that. Oh, and 
this is cute. Look at the packaging. Um, like I said, everything is pretty much on sale now. So £10 instead of £20 for a little chocolate egg inside there but this is the counter that I definitely was going to have a look and see if they've got Easter things so this is like the Harrods own chocolate own brand I don't know whatever you would call that I just want to see if they have any specific Easter chocolates yeah I've definitely bought chocolates from here before and they do they've got some Easter moments so I'm gonna get some of these some of these some of those eggs in the background and um yeah maybe few favorites from last time I think they were all amazing oh yeah here we go the Pharaoh that is something that um, people wanted to see last time because there's so much Egyptian um, inspiration in the building which I'll show you in a bit so I'm gonna get one of each of those eggs what have we got a Biscoff Belgian salted caramel pecan and a all praline and then I'm gonna get a couple of each of these I mean why not this is literally going to be my face. I haven't eaten chocolate in ages. It's going to be amazing. Let's get some extra. There's definitely room left in the box. Um, can I get one of the salted caramel truffles and the one in front and then the pistachio? One, two, three. Why not? So I got, I think I got 16 or 15 chocolates for 14 pounds, which I don't think is too bad. I'm gonna take it with me and grab some more things. Okay, it might not be Easter specific, but let's get some macarons. I really like the vanilla one. I know that's super boring, but vanilla, um, salted caramel, mm, pistachio, why not? Oh, let's try the new one. Raspberry and lychee. Yeah, it looks amazing. Um, have I got another one? So, two more. Two more. Um, can I get another vanilla one? Because I know that one's like my absolute fave. And... Do you like chocolate? Yes. Chocolate would be great. And a chocolate one. Amazing. Thank you. So you get a choice of a pink box or a green box. And I went for the green one. Oh, the packaging is so cute. Okay, right. I think it is time to head on out of the chocolate room. Let's head into the savory section. There is a cake section as well, so we'll get there. And you can buy a bag if you want. You've got the front one there for five pounds or the one with a little kind of like leathery handle for 15. Okay, oh my gosh, it's suddenly really busy. Um, everyone is out and about now. Let's get some savory food. I'm gonna try and not vlog exactly what I have vlogged before, um, but I can't really not show you each of the sections. So we've got the cheese section, which looks amazing. Oh my gosh, cheese is one of my favorite food types, food groups I should say. And we do have a rotisserie section over the other side. I wasn't explaining that very well, was I? But yeah, you can come and get a full roast dinner, a rotisserie lunchbox for 10 pounds, which I'm quite tempted to do on my way out um, because I said that I'd do that last time. And I totally forgot. Oh, okay, that's gonna be me in a minute. You know what, guys? It's time for a trolley. <laughs> which is much easier also to vlog. So I'm just gonna get this little trolley thing. I'm gonna plonk him on the front. I need another basket for the, for the bottom, but it just makes it a little bit easier. Um, so what have we got here? We've got a little cheese platter. Ooh, maybe I should get one of these. Um, that's quite a good idea actually. So you get a French cheese platter, a British cheese, everyday cheese, um, and then like a bougie French one as well. So. Hmm, I'm quite tempted by the, say, everyday platter. Should we just get that? Oh my God, I don't need it, but I don't really care. Let's get one of these. Flip and neck, have they moved the sausage rolls? Where are the sausage rolls? Okay, we'll be looking out for those. They've moved them over here, don't worry, guys. And my recommendation to you is come to Harrods for a sausage roll. It's really weird. There's no pricing on anything today, um, but we're gonna get a couple of sausage rolls for sure. But yeah, I'm just trying to quickly get some food before it is crazy, crazy busy, but we have got a butcher's over over on one side you've got the fishmonger lunch to go which we'll go to in a second and then in the middle you've got some different brands different sushi and pasta companies and then this whole section here is beige picky bits heaven um, and some lovely salads all of that pork pie that is fancy and I'm definitely gonna get the salmon thing over there red onion chutney and the chorizo and paprika sausage rolls we've got scotch eggs not many but it's, for now it's just jalapeno and vegetarian. Oh, can I get a jalapeno? And then I'm definitely gonna get a bellini, this is what I always get, and a salmon gatto slice. Another tip I would say, like the salads are amazing, but they do work out really, really expensive. Right, everyone will wanna know the price. So the Scotch egg was £4.50. Yes, you can get them cheaper. 
down in Aldi, let's not talk about it. And then that massive sausage roll was five pounds. You could definitely share it with someone. So if you're looking for a little bit of a snack, definitely grab a sausage roll for a fiver. Oh, yummy. My sister is gonna be happy and my niece did request that. Um, yeah, she doesn't know it's Harrods food, but she really likes salmon. Oh, that aubergine looks good. Yeah, so you can get some like really good healthy things as well. Um, yeah, I think some of the prices are missing on some items, um, but that beef wellington looks incredible. What else have we got? Yeah, we've got loads of nice like things you can just grab and have for dinner. Um, look at that. What is that? That looks amazing. I can't see what it is, but even the uh, broccoli looks incredible. Oh. Salmon on crout in the back there. Also have got all of these kind of grab and go. You've got lasagna there. You've got a shepherd's pie in the background for 8.50. Um, some different pies to choose from. Oh, cottage pie with scotch beef. That sounds nice. Now I'm personally not a massive fan of quiche, but the quiche always apparently is very nice in here. So we've got lots of olives to choose from and the sugary department, which is next door, is creeping in over here. We've got some cakes to choose from. We've got an Easter bread and butter pudding. But don't worry, I'm gonna be going over to the bakery, which is the room to the side of here. Ah, oh, now they didn't have this last time. This must be um, new. They have got some grab and go cakes. So you've got massive slices of cakes to grab. So you've got carrot cake, chocolate caramel, and I did miss it, and people asked me to see how much it is. You've got a red velvet cake there as well, and they are six pound a slice. They are, you know, it's pretty steep, but it's a definitely a big, big hunk of cake. I'd say more of a door stop than a slice of cake. I do like that every time I come in here, there's new things to choose from. Um, yeah, I don't really know what half of this is, to be honest. I'm not really sure, but they've definitely got loads of different types of food in here. Oh, falafel bowl, that looks good. I think this is like an external um, restaurant. Let me know if you know, um, but that's what this amazing food selection that I just showed you was. I've never tried it. Is it good? And then we also have Kama by Vinit. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry, I'm pronouncing that really badly. And they've got a full counter here of different like curries. You've got some naan um, to choose from. So I'm just gonna let's have a look around. I don't need any curry, but no harm in looking. So you've got naan for about four or five pounds. It's pretty big. And then you've got some lamb kebab. Oh, that looks really good, doesn't it? And you can literally pick what you want. Here we go. Select your bread, add a filling and a choice of sauce. This is gonna be crazy busy later, isn't it? Oh, let's get some of these while we're at it, actually. Um, I definitely wanna get some salmon, salmon teriyaki and mm, what else? Maybe some sushi. Oh my gosh, this makes me just never wanna actually have to cook my own food. Black cod with a sweet soy glaze. The black cod is one of my favorite dishes. And you can get full Beijing duck for 68 pounds. I think it comes with all the trimmings. Or you can get half a Beijing duck prepared in a box for 42 pounds. Yeah, they have a lot more um, pre-packaged. They definitely had these last time, but kind of grab and go stuff. But my sister always really likes the spring rolls, so we're gonna get some of those. Two Vietnamese chicken spring rolls, two of those. Two of the vegetable. Only the same box? Yes, fine. All in the same is fine, thank you. And two sesame prawns and two of the duck ones as well. The chicken yakitori, yeah. Thank you. I always recommend the katsu curry for $7.95. It's like the best microwave meal ever. But we've also got a pecan duck rack and um, rack wrap for $6.95. Sorry, I keep moving the camera a little bit quickly. I'm getting like trying to be a bit quick, so apologies if it's a bit blurry. <laughs> so they give you all of the like dips and things. Um, so all of that I got, I got quite a lot. That was £17.10. You know, you've got to treat yourself once in a while. And as we pan over, we have got carb heaven. Um, and we've actually got some, looks like they're kind of like reduced to clear items. They're bags or tubs even of pasta for six and seven pounds, but um, that looks amazing. But I just passed where I just got those um, spring rolls and stuff from, create your own uh, poke bowl and Vietnamese bun. So there's lots of kind of things you can customize here, or you can just grab it in a container. And I recommend this or come to the lunch to go and head on to Hyde Park for a little kind of spring or summer lunch. Got some nice spring salads. You've got a rainbow salad bowl there for eight pounds. These are really good and that you do actually get quite a lot in them for your money. So don't be kind of like put off if it's like, oh, it's quite expensive. Um, so I think I might grab, oh no, I'm gonna go buy the, the rotisserie chicken, aren't I? Okay, no, no, not yet, not yet. Um, but if you wanna create your own, you can get three seasonal salads um, at three pound per hundred gram. So you can literally pick three of these, which look amazing. Get spiced cauliflower and saffron rice. 
Oh, oh, look at the halloumi. <gasps> That's the thing coming at the beginning of the day. You get to see everything looking pretty before everyone starts, um, yeah, getting theirs. And the club, I do have to say, I had the, I think I had a brioche sandwich or roll last time, a couple of times ago when I vlogged, and it was a bit too truffly for my liking, but we have got a lobster roll for 16 pounds. Definitely a little bit more than your Tesco meal deal. And then you have got literally carb heaven, but you can just grab and go. It's like a really fancy prep. We've got the charcuterie section over here. They just wanted to show you. I think it's, I don't know, nearly half 10. I've been wandering around, guys. It keeps kind of coming in floods of crowds, but this section here for the grab and go will get busy soon. No, I am actually gonna grab a salad because it'll last and you usually get quite a lot in them. So I'm gonna have an Asian prawn noodle salad and that maybe will be my dinner, I'm not sure. Lots of posh fruit and veg. Um, Nat has said that she doesn't need any. Oh, I feel like I should probably try one of these again because I kind of slated them last time. I definitely had, I think it was the dragon fruit and lime and I thought it was really lame. So I'm not gonna, do you know what? No, I'm not. I'm gonna get, let's get a smoothie, an actual green juice, apple, spinach, celery, ginger, lime for 350. Give it a shake, yeah. One of those because I'm all about health, you know, guys. But there are lots of fresh items to choose from. Oh, and the tile work is stunning. And you do have a actual juice and smoothie bar, along with a exotic fruit section. Oh my gosh, look at that. It looks so colorful. Oh, some fancy truffles. I'm not crazy on the flavor, only like a little bit. Oh, but let me quickly just show you. They've got this salad roll set up. Um, this came in a little while ago. So you can, um, yeah, have these little wraps. I actually buy these from like Ocado and try to make them, but these, look amazing i'm definitely gonna have to watch this footage back and jot down the fillings but it's just a really good way if you don't want to have too many carbs all oh, the prawn and mango looks good i just find they're just really messy to eat <laughs> like really messy so they've got this little selection box so i think i'm gonna get that for 7.95 okay the top level is almost full but we're definitely gonna get some more savory beige bits from the bakery here on the left oh yeah definitely wins to come in early get these giant pretzels different rolls oh a brioche roll on the top there some different scones or scones oh wow they look nice and shiny um there's definitely some croissants olive sticks these are amazing but they don't last more than a day by the way they go really hard so I'm not gonna I, I don't know might get one for me anyway um you've got a tazar or feta scroll that sounds interesting um yeah you just find lots of really nice bakery bits you've got a a what's that a mushroom and truffle for capture down there is that what that is i'm not sure and then some very fancy croissants i think there's some donuts over here as well focus on easter hannah what have we got here oh little um gingerbread lollipops i've never seen lollipops really at christmas um at christmas at easter goodness me you've got this little egg for three pound little biscuit that's quite cute isn't it um and then you've got a simnel cake thanks to you guys who constantly remind me what it is because i am keep forgetting um but it comes in a little tin it's not harris branded it looks like it's this brand meg rivers an artisan bakery oh and they're like little posh fondant fancies okay so yeah we are in the full bread section i definitely wanted to try and get like some brunch or something here but they've got can you see that at the top this is happy easter happy easter oh and they i think they usually have christmas um but something i personally really recommended i don't know if they do it all year they had a oh maybe it was just for christmas yeah it was okay well if you're watching this and it's christmas soon they have some christmas specific bread which i would really recommend cumin and the cheddar sourdough sounds tempting but the fig and walnut sourdough sounds interesting so maybe i should get one of those and you can see the examples of all of them at the back oh a grand crew chocolate sourdough oh let's get that one it's got the easter like little label on the top okay let's get one of these um let's get the one from the front oh it's heavy and it's only five pounds i don't think that's too bad right loading up and then you have the coffee bar here in the hall which is always really busy um but it's a nice place to grab a coffee there's usually a queue but let's look at all the food first before we have a sit down um and then this is just like you just grab a little thing and you can go so i would recommend getting a sausage roll and a cake that isn't necessarily the healthiest recommendation but you know i didn't say this was a health vlog did i 
and that's a better spread of the croissants looking amazing almond is my absolute favorite but they've got this half dipped chocolate and hazelnut croissant on the end oh my gosh and it's massive absolutely huge for three quid and then we've got some lovely donuts oh sri lankan cinnamon donut oh but we're about to look at some really really good cakes because just over the other side is the cake counter but i can't come to harris and not show you a few of the little iconic things like you've got all these beautiful tins that you can buy for example you've got a heritage tea bag selection there for 25 pounds and i'll show you um, some of the biscuits over here too because they're always a good grab and go lots of tea selections i feel like they have expanded the kind of combos that you can buy in these little um packaging um selection boxes i would call them but you've got a huge tea section here uh this is always rammed during christmas just weaving through the traffic with my little trolley <laughs> all of these different tins there's loads of different types obviously depending on what type of tea or coffee that you are buying but yeah amazing and i always say check if you're buying loose leaf tea or an actual tea bag because i think a lot of people make the mistake of buying loose leaf and a lot of people can't be bothered with that which is fair enough <laughs> now i'm not really a coffee drinker but they've got a full coffee pod section here and they've got harrod's own coffee which is amazing so four um thingies how many do you get in each one um of capsules 10 capsules then espresso compatible it says mix and match four for 15 pounds they've got quite the selection i mean that's a good little thing isn't it your little try for 20 pounds um gift pack that's quite good i like that and then these are like the iconic jars that people buy there's so many to choose from <gasps> praline flavor hot chocolate okay i'm digressing the patisserie okay i've timed that really well there was loads of people here a moment ago but i must remember we have easter eggs but i can't not show you some of the spring things that we've got a red fruit cheesecake um so it's five pounds a slice so you buy the whole things for 45 pounds these are amazing i do think they're quite expensive so you get a mini set for 20 pounds um a really nice thing but honestly i think i can inhale those in about three minutes eclairs so they do tend to have like the same things um i would really recommend the uh, chocolate salted caramel delice delice so if you're watching this and you're coming you will definitely see some of these when you come oh lemon and lime heart that's new there's definitely some new things for spring dawn of the day that is new i mean it kind of looks like a sea urchin doesn't it um but we've got heidi the cow uh which is moose oh my gosh and chocolate fudge a little pig and a little sheep as well oh, they've got names hetty the sheep that's really sweet yogurt mousse oh and then as we saw in the other room we've got hot cross bread and butter pudding for eight pounds they're pretty big and yeah all these normal ones as well creme brulee and a massive tiramisu one thing that's great is when you buy some of these items um they actually take the bottom of the cake stand to the box so whenever i bought things and then maybe gone on the tube or like grabbed an uber like they've traveled so well um because yeah they take the time to pack them up so if you're thinking of getting them they put them in a box you don't pay extra for the box or anything um the only thing to note is when i bought those macarons from lottery um it was minimum six to be in a nice box or you could just have them in a bag um so yeah but at harrods on their own stuff you don't have to pay for packaging so yeah you basically just get one of these boxes um but i'm actually not going to be grabbing anything because like i said we've got easter eggs and i've just bought some trees oh my gosh look at those that's the yeah the brand long boys which have been in here for a while we've still got a huge section here which is plant-based i always get asked um if there is anything that is plant gluten um, and vegetarian and they have got a special chocolate fudge cake which is decorated for easter so that looks pretty awesome for 18 pounds if you've seen my vlogs before you know about that cake um, and then you have got a massive version of it for 35 pounds um, it doesn't actually say how many people it serves oh my god it's got the calories on it are you joking is this like a legal requirement now what does that say calories per serving so the whole cake okay would well, you know what we don't need that negativity no no oh my gosh they're even bigger i feel like they weren't this big last time i came or maybe they were look at the size of these these are awesome i really like those kind of like what do you call it where it's like roughly roughly decorated <laughs> but i just noticed oh god the calories are really killing the vibe the whole cake is basically 12,000 calories or 992 calories per slice and it's got the little indents oh whose idea was that honestly i feel like the pies don't do very well here i think people don't realize they're here they get a bit overshadowed but we've got a cherry pie pie so good they have to name it twice i'm guessing but they look quite nice don't they um but yeah let's head on to the next section oh i love a multi buy for 15 pounds on the cupcakes and mini victoria cake so that is like this little section here so i've not seen that that must be a new little promo i like a 
promo. We've got a vanilla cupcake. There's a little bunny that's really cute for four pounds, and then a chocolate cupcake as well. Like I said, my nieces have got like I don't like eggs and stuff. We don't need any more. But you take a ticket. It's like the best deli ever. Okay, it's time to pay. Um, where do I go? Oh, can I fit through there? Breathe in, guys. Ooh. Oh gosh. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Things in the aisle, little Easter cake selection. And the iconic green bags have gone. You only get plain paper bags now. If you want a Harrods bag, you're probably gonna have to grab one of these. Very quickly, I do actually need to buy a foundation. Do they have Charlotte Tilbury in here? This lighting is showing my real face. Yeah, I need to grab a foundation and a bronzer. Um, and then I need to just go and have a look. I'll show you the Tiffany um, afternoon tea section downstairs quickly because I always get requested. I think I can film them, but I just want to quickly sweep around and show it to you guys and then we'll go a little bit more around the store. They redid their beauty hall, which is this whole section. I think it was probably quite a few years now, um, years ago I should say, but it is absolutely stunning. It's definitely my favorite one. It's not pumping out really loud music. It's just quite calming and yeah, super friendly. So hunting for Charlotte Tilbury, so they've got all the brands, but look at that fixture. That's just amazing. Um, I mean, obviously it's Harrods, it's gonna be extremely premium. What? There's a Beauty Hall annual bear? What? I didn't know this was a thing. Obviously Harrods bears are iconic. So 40 pounds with the packaging, that's quite sweet. The little bear and it's dated on his foot or her foot. That's really funny. And I'm sure lots of people watching this do follow some of the amazing UK bloggers who are 20 times more glamorous than me and they often go to the beauty hall for different treatments and things like that. I wish one day, but this is where they would go. So you've got the amazing Nars section, the beauty bit is downstairs, there's also one up, I think it's on the fourth floor. I would say this is probably like the one beauty area where like they don't care, they literally don't care, they're really nice. Like I often find when you go into department stores, they like pounce on you and like you touch something and like, oh can I help? And it's like, I just want to look, I just want to try some perfume. Um, but they're really, really friendly and chilled in here. It's not stuffy, it's not awkward. Um, on my last Harrods vlog, they asked if you can wear jeans, you can wear jeans, you can wear trainers, you can wear tracksuits. Um, dress how you want some people are in proper bougie outfits other people are in hoodies times have moved on guys this place is um yeah i'd say a little bit more welcoming to everybody now i think is my polite way of putting it <laughs> oh i could literally spend all day in here i swear this is the first mac in the world that doesn't have blaring music so um yeah they're definitely in keeping with the theme for harrods but i'm gonna grab some foundation from charlotte tilbury um i'm quite happy with the one that i've got Although I haven't really got much on today because it is full on run out, but I'm going to get the Airbrush Flawless, Flawless Foundation. I usually wait for like 10, 20% off at places like John Lewis. But I swear no makeup brands have been on offer since Christmas. So I'm just going to just gonna get it now and then I'm going to get my bronzer from MAC because I really like it. Um, just looking in the viewfinder. Yeah, let's not judge my makeup. I'm not really like very good at makeup, but it's fun to buy. Oh, before I really annoy you all, um, how much was it? It was, it was, it was, it was enough. I think it was like a hundred and like four pounds, which is fine, it's fine, that's fine, right? <laughs> And you do get the green bags everywhere else. I think maybe it's just the food hall you don't. Um, but I just grabbed foundation, a flawless finish airbrush powder thing that's apparently supposed to be quite good. Ooh. And a new bronzer from MAC. So yeah, all my makeup is slowly running out. But yeah, you can still get the bags. Now just by the beauty hall, you have got Juliet. I don't think I've ever crossed this place. It is a cute little cafe. So if you can't get a sit down and you want a moment to chill um, and the food hall is really busy, Look at this little place so you can get a lot of the cakes that are in the actual um, bakery that I've literally just shown you. So this is a nice calm place to come. Um, yeah, I really like it in here. So this is quite a good idea to take a stop. Looks like they encourage a cheeky glass of champagne or should I say rosé, definitely actually. Uh, rosé and red and white wine. They've got these cute chandeliers everywhere. Really nice. I feel like this used to be was this the Laudery Cafe back in the day? But they've got seating up the top there. Sorry, the music is a little loud. It comes across loud on camera. Oh, I love it. How sweet. I have never seen this on anyone's videos or Instagram, but it's quite sweet. Yeah, definitely up there would be a nice place just to relax. And um, we were just by the Chanel section, like the sunglass section. 
next to Joe Malone if you're looking. So back into the store. Ah, I know where I am. What I'm going to do is link my vlog with my lovely sister and one of my nieces. We went to the Harrods afternoon tea at Christmas. It was brilliant. I'd really recommend it. I wanted to have a look on the... Um, I was just having a look around to see what different food places there are. I also could really do with starting to use that flawless filter powder on my face. Oh, I really am starting to regret having a 4K camera. <laughs> it looks like there's a little terrace moment over there. So, so it's gonna be 20 degrees today. Um, kind of want to go outside. And we have the Lebanese bakery. I'm not gonna go around all of the food places because there's loads, but as it's not quite lunchtime for most people, um, yeah, you've got a little counter. There's also Gordon Ramsay's place here. where well, there's an 80 pound burger, so maybe I should go there another time. Um, I have got this food with me, although um, it's really, really air conditioned in here, so it should be all right for a little longer. Um, hmm, let's go and explore. Ah, but what I am gonna insert now is I went down to the lower ground floor, which is where all the jewelry and, yeah, the fine jewellery watches are so you can't really film in there I did ask um, if I could just film the restaurant they were totally fine with it so just whipped out my iPhone but the Tiffany breakfast at Tiffany's um, looks really cute it's probably not somewhere I personally would go because I think it's a bit too small and intimate and I usually like places where there's you know a little music moment um, for afternoon tea but it aesthetically looks very pleasing doesn't it um, and the lady showed me the menu um, it's kind of like standard price I think it's maybe about five to ten pounds more than most places but it did look nice and speaking of Gordon Ramsay yeah this is his little burger joint in here um, and it's within like the women's wear kind of um, I'd say more the high street brands that they've got here it does feel a bit random to have a burger place in the middle of the women's section um, but let me obviously show you the menu and then for the menu I'm hoping you can kind of see that in the reflection um, the 1849 burger which is 85 pounds um, served with truffle palms and fries wagyu beef chili and wagyu beef um, yeah lots of other things going on in that burger but look at the calories I think this is a thing now where you have to put calories on everything oh no fun but I don't think any burger is worth that many calories oh I can't even get you in focus the camera disagrees but it looks nice there's lots of places to eat in Harrods I have just tried on a couple of dresses I'm going to a wedding shortly and um, yeah I've managed to pick one which hopefully will be suitable and I've actually just booked to go to there's like a little terrace um, it's a champagne terrace although I don't really feel like drinking um, that opens very shortly so I've managed to get a reservation I do find with Harrods you have to you really need to book you might be okay it might seem quiet now but like most places are quite booked up you do have to put a credit card down um, for the confirmation so just bear that in mind if you're coming okay I was going to end the vlog but then I keep getting comments saying can you make your vlogs longer I have no idea how long this is and um, yeah my hair is suddenly kind of wavy I went past like the beauty section up here and this really nice lady was like please can I cut your hair with some like new I don't know alternative to the Dyson and I was like I don't really need it she was like oh no I think she was bored so we'll see how long my little beach waves last but this is this is an amazing place look at this I have just come up to the Harrods Perrier Jouet gosh the pronunciations in this vlog are embarrassing champagne bar and we actually have a little bit of a view of London but look at this this is absolutely gorgeous and they've obviously got the um, like the thingies above us what we call them and they've got some little comfy seating areas and the lady was like yeah for one person we'll give you this whole kind of squidgy seating situation um, then we've got a bit of perspex we can watch the planes line up to go into Heathrow and um, yeah a little view of Knightsbridge it is 20 degrees outside this is absolutely gorgeous online i was trying to see what this like and i could only see pictures of like the inside bit oh sorry get my finger out of the way um yeah which is fully covered and that's probably quite good in the like autumn winter time but this i'm just parking myself here i haven't got my sunglasses it is absolutely gorgeous of course i'm going to show you the menu um we have got champagne by the glass a slightly smaller glass um a lot of places do 175 mil but for 20 quid you can get a bottle for 105 um and then we have got all the champagne cocktails for 19 pounds which is kind of standard these days so 19 to 22 pounds for like a really fancy cocktail um but obviously there are cheaper places in the world i'm quite tempted by a classic champagne cocktail it's about 20 past 12 i don't know i'm not sure if i feel like drinking um but we've got some 
nibbles that you can choose from, some cold small plates. I'm definitely gonna get some food um, and some sharing platters as well. But I'm thinking I might go for the Caesar salad. I haven't had a Caesar salad out somewhere in ages with chicken. Um, I feel like that's okay. Uh, we have, if you wanna be really bougie, some caviar, um, some different meats, oysters, um, sorry, the sun. Gosh, I haven't had that problem in a while. The sun's in the way. Um, some lots of nice cheeses and some desserts. I would recommend maybe coming here for a cheeky cocktail, maybe a dessert to share. Um, but we have got mocktails as well, which I'm quite tempted by actually. The first one, the green man, sounds really nice. Oh, um, yeah, for £10, different white wines, glass of crisp white. Oh, yeah, for £11, I don't think it's too bad. A little rose moment. Oh, yeah, this is definitely a nice rose setting. Red wine, too warm for red wine. Um, and then we have got some spirits here as well. Sorry, I'm probably not zooming in too much. And then if you want a soft drink, got some water, Coke, Coke for a fiver. I mean, it's kind of standard. And um, a so Jenny non alcoholic sparkling wine for 6.20, so that's quite nice. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to order, sit in the sun. This is honestly amazing. Also, conscious this is going warm, but they're going to pop it inside for me, which is nice. tempted by quite a lot of the cocktails but I'm just yeah you can't really go with, wrong with a little bit of fizz a little champagne oh this is so nice which I literally can't see so something I do want to mention I did obviously come here to see if there were things for the Queen's Jubilee I probably should have gone the lower ground floor I'm not sure if I'm gonna have time with the energy um, but the next few weeks I will be going to Fortnum and Mason I would definitely go to Liberty I think I say that in like every other vlog I just find when the weather's nice you gotta go out and go and sit on some kind of roof terrace um, so yeah I'm gonna try and show you some of the things that are happening for the Queen's Jubilee which is the first weekend of June and we get a double bank holiday honestly so chuffed um, and I also do have tickets to there's a huge show at the front of Buckingham Palace it's free I must actually reply to email to confirm you want your freebie tickets um, but it does say I don't, I don't think you can film I'm not sure but if I can obviously I will take you along because um, the last Jubilee the concert looked amazing on TV so yeah definitely gonna go to that that is a very very pretty season a salad with a ton of chicken on it look it's got little edible flowers as well so not too shabby for a lunch spot that's got to be one of the most relaxing lunches i couldn't eat all the chicken there's too much chicken but it's time to head on out and as i'm back down on the ground floor i wanted to show you all of the awesome uh kind of egyptian decor which everyone always mentions it looks so cool there's quite a lot of it around like the escalator areas here so if you're coming, have a look. Looks pretty epic. And I just had a lovely time looking at all the fine jewellery. You can't film in there, so apologies. But goodbye to the gorgeous bags. It is time to head on out. Oh, wasn't me. And after sitting in the sun for like an hour or so, oh my gosh, I look like a sweaty mess, but never mind. And this is where I usually end my vlogs, right at the like middle entrance on the Bonton Road. But I'm gonna love and leave you. I hope you enjoyed that vlog and please give it a thumbs up because no doubt this has probably taken me a significant amount of time to edit. I'm thinking maybe four to five hours potentially, if not more. Um, but yes, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe if you want to. I upload videos every Friday at 6pm UK time, usually London things that I get up to living here and uh, yeah apologies I did go downstairs to the like uh, the touristy bit where maybe there's some jubilee stuff so I probably will be back in about three weeks time so I will definitely take you with me I've always got my phone with me anyway it's a massive truck goes past I hope you enjoyed the tour I hope it didn't make you too hungry um, but if you're coming to Harrods grab a sausage roll <laughs> anyway I will see you guys next week bye